we can guarantee that this ain't gonna be no holly jolly Christmas. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Christmas horror films. We are not gonna stay here and be eaten by zombies! Cadavers! <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the best horror films that take place at Christmas time, or at least involve the most wonderful time of the year. But Mother Superior, it's Santa Claus. Chrissy, stay away from him. Therefore, non-horror films like The Nightmare Before Christmas will not be included here. Eureka! This year, Christmas will be ours! Number 10, Inside. When you think of Christmas, you may think of sweet family moments, tinsel, and presents. The holidays don't get much more depressing and demented as they are in this French shocker, a film that brings a new twist to the home invasion movie. The recently widowed and extremely pregnant Sarah is home alone on Christmas Eve, trying to have a quiet evening waiting for her water to break at any moment. Of course, for the deranged woman who breaks into her home, Sarah's water can't break fast enough. Merci quand ça fait besoin d'elle, non? You see, she wants the child for herself and will do anything to get it. We'll let your imagination fill in the rest. Pregnant women should steer clear of this bizarre version of a Christmas nativity story. <laughs> Number nine, a Christmas horror story. I love Christmas. There, I said it. A very welcome Canadian entry to the recent boom of anthology horror movies from the last decade or so, a Christmas horror story offers a diverse selection of Christmas-themed terror, all taking place in the small town of Bailey Downs. With the killer still at large, the atmosphere here in Bailey Downs is truly grim this holiday season. Ranging from the very scary and dark ghost story in the basement of the town's high school to a hilarious romp about Santa battling his elves who've turned into zombies, these tales are all framed and tied together by the hilariously drunk town DJ, played by William Shatner. Oh, let's uh, throw another eggnog on the fire. No, wait a minute. Let's, uh, let's throw another log on the fire and pour yourself another eggnog. Stories of Krampus, changelings, vengeful spirits, and zombies all scream out a jolly good time for the whole family. It's safe now. It's over. It's not over. Number eight, Jack Frost. Hey, Jack! What? You left the 710 split. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit! You may be wondering if by Jack Frost we mean the Michael Keaton family drama. Well, that movie is pretty horrifying in its own right. We're talking about the bizarre horror film of the same name, released the previous year. This movie is so weird, it's almost impossible to take it seriously. And hell, why should we? The filmmakers didn't seem to. Look, Ma! I'm a Picasso! <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Come on, run! The story of a serial killer who gets into a snowy accident involving chemicals that turn him into a mutant living snowman. Jack Frost truly defies seriousness. Oops. While the sequel, Jack Frost 2, Revenge of the Mutant Killer Snowman, delves deeper into comedy, this low-budget but highly original film is a pure slasher flick with a bizarre holiday twist. Number 7, Christmas Evil. I have something for you. I have superlative taste. Me too! Predating other more popular Santa Claus killing sprees, which you'll be hearing about later, Christmas Evil has become a bit of a rare gem. Merry Christmas, Frank! Also known as Terror in Toyland and You Better Watch Out, this classic slasher film, released at the genre's peak, follows Harry, a toy factory worker who becomes more and more convinced that he will be the next real Santa Claus. It's me. Having been traumatized as a child by seeing his father in a Santa suit groping his mother, Harry plans his Santa transformation carefully. 
He stalks children, verifying whether they're being naughty or nice, steals toys, and kills people with axes. You know, the usually jolly old Saint Nick stuff. But if you're bad boys and girls, your name goes in the bad boys and girls book, and I'll bring you something horrible. Number six, Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. One of those rare foreign films to come out of nowhere and take the world by storm, Rare Exports decided to break the rules, blend genres together, and rewrite the Santa mythology. This dark fantasy story from Finland, one that no child who still believes in Santa should ever come across, follows a Lapland farmer on Christmas who stumbles upon an excavation team in the mountains. What they've unearthed is the real Santa Claus, and he's not exactly a jolly rosy-cheeked saint. Santa is going to find out who is naughty or nice. This monstrous version of Santa has been kidnapped and held for ransom, but his elves have also woken up, and they are none too happy. <laughs> Number five, Krampus. In the last couple of years, there's been a surge in Krampus-related horror films. Well, we thank the newborn baby Jesus that the writer of Trick or Treat and Universal Pictures noticed the trend and brought us the ultimate Krampus movie. With a very 80s creature feature feel and darkly humorous vibe to it, Krampus may have major studio backing and an all-star cast headed by Adam Scott and Tony Collette, but this movie pulls no punches. Giving that my family! <laughs> Starting with one of the funniest opening scenes in Christmas movie history, and leading up to a non-stop barrage of terrifying surprises, Krampus may be the most unpredictably entertaining horror film in recent years. Number four, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Can you believe this? It's Christmas Eve and we got orders to bring in Santa Claus. The next murderous Santa on our list, but not the last, donned the red and white suit after witnessing his parents being murdered by a Santa-suited criminal. Hey, you little bastard! Poor Billy is traumatized for life, and the evil Catholic orphanage he grew up in doesn't help much either. Not to spoil anything, but he goes a little crazy. <laughs> Originally titled Sleigh Ride, Silent Night, Deadly Night has now become a cult classic spawning a bunch of sequels, including the loose 2012 remake and box office bomb, Silent Night. The original received an insane amount of controversy at its release because its advertisements depicted a murderous Santa Claus. We guess Christmas Evil had gone completely unnoticed a few years before. You see Santa Claus tonight? You better run, boy! You better run for your life! Number three, Santa's sleigh. Santa? <laughs> yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Once again, we have Santa Claus killing people left and right. But we bet this isn't the kind of evil Santa story you're expecting. There are no deranged costumed killers. It's the real Santa Claus. <laughs> Played by pro wrestler Goldberg, Santa's myth is again reimagined into the most ridiculous backstory you'll ever hear. In it, the real Santa was the child of Satan, and Christmas was the day of slaying. On the anniversary of his birth, there were always a great number of unexplained deaths and murders. However, losing a curling match to an angel forced him to be a charitable present giver for 1,000 years, but that contract just expired. He's now thirsty for blood and looking for some mayhem. Full of black humor and originality, Santa's sleigh is a bizarre sleigh ride, and unlike any cinematic experience you've ever had. 
Christmas can sure scare the dickens out of people. Number two, Gremlins. Just be careful. You gotta be gentle. I will. From Steven Spielberg's production team and written by Chris Columbus, the filmmaker who helped bring us both Home Alone and The Goonies, comes the hugely successful Gremlins, a movie that acted as a breath of fresh air for the 80s horror genre. Get out of my kitchen! <laughs> Monster movies had died out, and there were too many masked killers on the silver screen. So the story of Billy taking care of little Gizmo and his mischievous secrets gave new life to dark horror comedies. <laughs> Holiday chaos erupts when Billy receives Gizmo as a present, but sadly he doesn't follow the rules to take care of this strange pet. The images of Mogwais wreaking havoc at Christmas are as iconic as Kevin McAllister being home alone or Jack Skellington dressed as Santa. Now I have another reason to hate Christmas. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. What did we ever do to you? All we wanted was a nice Christmas. Is that too much to ask? Now that hell is full, I wonder where you will go. No! No! Number one, Black Christmas. Santa, please. Look, she's supposed to be going away with me for the weekend, goddammit. Not only the granddaddy of all Christmas-themed horror films, but also considered by many as the originator of the slasher craze, Black Christmas is now a respected classic in the genre. <laughs> Based on a real murder spree that happened in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and directed by Bob Clark, who also brought us the classic comedy A Christmas Story, this very low-budget Canadian production became a major surprise hit, and directly inspired future blockbusters like Halloween. Michael? The creepy story of a killer hiding in the attic of a sorority house has found new life in recent years, mostly thanks to the underappreciated 2006 remake of the same name. You're my family now. No! Oh my! No! No! Do you agree with our list? What other horror films bring you some holiday cheer? There's a, a lot of pollution between here and the North Pole. For more shocking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.